What's up guys, Beeskin here from Technos. With another unboxing today, today we have the uh, dual kind of thing here. We have the Sun Pact uh, 4000 average um, action video grip. This is a stabilizer for your GoPro. So you can see right here, you put your little tripod mount on and your GoPro and you hold it like this and it has really stable video. Um, next we have the Sun Pack, uh, it's a DSLR tripod. 5400 DLX, 54 inch holds up to 4 pounds, universal tripod for cameras, smartphones, and GoPros. So you can use this for a variety of different things, and it has a level on it, so you can make sure that you have um, a nice stable shot. So tripod storage pass included, like this tripod I use, I have a Targus tripod, and it comes with a little bag too. So this has the quick release plate, extra long handle, for tightening your uh, pan, like I'm doing right now. So you can pan and zoom with that. Uh, your centered gear to uh, higher the adjustment to make it taller. Uh, aluminum legs, so they're lightweight. And you also have your three legs, so they connect together. So you have a nice stable setup so it doesn't collapse. Um, I don't know how, how you guys can see this, but you can't really. Uh, you have your radial leg braces, so it keeps them uh, with strength. Oversized flip lever things, so it tightens it. And uh, rubber feet for stable on the ground, so it doesn't move around. Um, let's pull out the Kershaw hot wire, and uh, let's get into these things. First we have the tripod. File it to the side. So the first thing out of the box is the sun pack bag, and guess what else we have in the box? Good old nothing. So we have the sun pack traveling bag. Pretty low quality stuff right here. Uh, it's like a plastic kind of thing. I think this is gonna rip um, in about four minutes from now. I'm not sure though. Oh. It must mean something. Let's see how this works. Let me get my uh, my phone. So obviously it'll fit your phone. Um, I don't have my phone with me right now, but it expands pretty large. Probably fit like a note or something. I got some uh, phone right here, S5. So it fits it with the case on. So you can take your selfies and. Record your time lapses. And now it's, uh, it was almost stuck. So let's uh, file a phone. And let's... Um, we just get the phone out of the way real quick. So this has the little threads on the bottom to connect to your tripod. I'm trying to get through this before I run out of time. Uh, we have our GoPro mount right here. Uh, your regular quality GoPro mount with uh, cheap plastic. The China replacement ones. Uh, third party stuff but it has a cool little golden thread and it should last you pretty long unless you uh, over screw your GoPro like I've done a couple times so here's the bag it fits the tripod perfectly and then we have this in some plastic wrap um, I think the plastic wrap is about twenty dollars if you want to buy some extra just for like two feet of plastic wrap you know the grind um, so here's the little panning Thing that I was talking about before. It's pretty smooth. I could use some WD-40 or something. But the more expensive... Okay. Okay. Something's wrong. You know this... Alright. Like I said, guys. I've got quality here. If you guys can see this. Where is it? Radial leg braces inc increase strength for superior stability. Do they really? Gator season, bro. It's uh, it's football time. Let's do the gator chomp. Um, yeah, this adds strength to it. I know that because, yeah, I don't know. Um, this is a fail. Right here, the company should pay for this. I've never used this thing before, and there's no screw here. Um, that's 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 quality. <laughs> what is this? 
This is so weird. Uh, I'll just go through the rest of it. So you have your quick release buckle right here with your screw. So that's not going to fall out like some other tripods. You just screw that into the bottom of your camera. This is pretty good quality stuff right here. But I don't know what's wrong with that leg brace. Here's your um, your level for stable shots. And you also have a quick release kind of thing here to move your camera if you want to do an angle. It just tightens and loosens like that. Tighten it back up, you're good. Um, we got the extending part right here. So I'm not sure. No, that's not the right part. That's for the, the panning thing. Let's just um, tighten that back up. I wasn't expecting much from this tripod, and I'm certainly not impressed. So here we have the... Okay. This is supposed to be the uh, up and down thing, but it's not working. So this tripod is probably going to go back to the store. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's a lot of problems. I'm not even going to look at this thing anymore. I'm going to put it to the side. Put it in the Land Misfit Toys. It's the only thing I'm going to keep from it. This is actually worth something for me. So next, back to some quality stuff, because I already have one of these. He's got another one. Uh, Kershaw Hot Wire. If one thing is good with this stuff, they use a high quality uh, zip ties. That's for sure. Alright, they didn't throw another one in there for me. But they uh, kind of wedged it into the plastic. So let's uh, file that to the side. So this is uh, for your GoPro, like I said before, it's pretty good. I have one of these. It stabilizes your video pretty well. Uh, the GoPro Hero 5 already has built-in video stabilization. So that should help a little bit. Um, I'm going to go get my GoPro and show you how this fits on. Alright guys, so I'm back. I got my GoPro Hero 5 right here. So you just um, put this into the thread thing right here. Uh, I think it's the China one, so it's going to be kind of harder to get it in. But you put your screw into this right here, but it looks like this uh, hole isn't big enough for it, but that's fine. It works. So you have your GoPro right here. You get to change the angle to whatever angle you want. And down here, you get to move it up and down on this track. So you can get the right angle and the right weight for your stabilization. And right here you can see you hold it with your arm and just look at all the video. It's very stable. You can move it around. It's still pretty stable. Or you can hold it like this. You get a nice smooth shot. Now this is going to help a lot. Unlike the tripod, it's actually a quality product. It has a cool rubber grip on the bottom so it won't slide around. Um, I've recorded some short films with this. It's pretty good quality. Um, uh, it's not like a Karma grip or anything like that with a super smooth video, but it'll do the job. It's around twenty dollars. So you can pick it up at Best Buy if you don't want to break the bank and spend two hundred dollars on a video stabilizer from DJI or GoPro. Just pick one of these up, support a smaller brand, and you get good quality product right here. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, let's let the tripod say thanks for watching. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out these products. Uh, I don't know about this one, but this one is at Best Buy. It's a really good deal. I love the product. I'd recommend it to anyone who makes short films or videos, family videos, whatever. Um, it's a really good product. Nice, stabiliza nice stabilization, good grip on it. Like, subscribe, check out my other videos. I have some playlists on camera, gear, Samsung, GoPro, rumored videos, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 which is around the corner in September. So I can't wait for that. Uh, a little overpriced, but it's fine. Check out these products. I'll leave the link in the description for this one. And like, subscribe. Beast King out.